Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow rectangle ABCD fully inscribed uh, in a circle with a center O, oh, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 264 uh, square units, whereas the perimeter of this uh, yellow rectangle is uh, 68 uh, units. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded region. This one, this one, this one, and uh, this one uh, combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's make an observation since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle ABCD. So therefore, all these interior angles of this rectangle must be 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and connect this point A and C, as you can see over here. And now let's recall the Thales theorem. According to this theorem, if A, B, C are distinct points on the circle with the angle A, B, C is a right angle, then the line A, C is a diameter. As you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram, here this is our uh, 90 degree angle and these points A, B and C are indeed uh, lie on the circle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, line uh, AC is indeed uh, a diameter of this uh, circle that passes through this uh, center O. And now let's focus once again on this uh, yellow rectangle. Let me go ahead and label uh, its side length. I'm going to call uh, its uh, length uh, as lowercase a and its width as uh, lowercase uh, b. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times uh, width. And in our case, uh, the area of this uh, yellow rectangle is given to us as 264 and its uh, length is uh, lowercase a and width is uh, b. So therefore, uh, length times width means a times uh, b is going to be equal to 264. Let me call this our equation number one. And now the perimeter of this uh, yellow rectangle has been given to us as uh, 68. And the perimeter of this uh, yellow rectangle is going to be 2 times a plus uh, 2 times uh, b. So therefore, we can write uh, perimeter as uh, 2 times a plus uh, 2 times uh, b equals to 68. Let me go ahead and divide uh, each and every term by 2 across uh, the board. So therefore, this 2 and 2 cancels out. This cancels out that well. So a plus b turns out to be 34. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. And now we can see that our a plus b value is uh, 34 and our a times b value is uh, 264. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got uh, 34 whole square could be written as a square plus uh, b square plus uh, 2 times a b value is 264 and now we know that uh, 34 square is uh, 1156 equal to a square plus uh, b square plus uh, 2 times this number is going to give us uh, 528 now let's go ahead and subtract uh, 528 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our a square plus uh, b square value turns out to be simply 628. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase a and uh, lowercase b. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call our longest leg uh, 
as our side lower case c this is our uh, side lower case a and this is the lower case b and here's our uh, pythagorean theorem and we know our a square plus b square value is uh, 628 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this part by 628 so therefore we got uh, 628 equal to c square let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on uh, both sides so therefore our uh, c value turns out to be square root of uh, 628 so thus our this uh, a c length uh, turns out to be square root of uh, 628 and now we know that uh, this uh, line a c is the diameter of the circle and the diameter AC equal to square root of 628. So therefore our diameter of this given circle is going to be simply square root of 628. So that means the radius is going to be, I'm going to call radius as lowercase r, is going to be half of this diameter. So I can write square root of 628 divided by 2 and this is our radius and now let's make an observation since we are interested in calculating the area of this purple shaded region and now we can see that this purple shaded region area is going to be equal to this whole circle area minus the area of this yellow rectangle and we know the area of this uh, yellow rectangle as 264. So therefore our only task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, circle. So let's go ahead and calculate the circle area. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square where r is the radius uh, given to us uh, as uh, this one. So therefore uh, the area of this uh, circle is going to become pi times uh, our radius r is uh, square root of uh, 628 uh, divided by 2 whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us uh, 628 uh, divided by 4 times uh, pi and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 157 uh, pi. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded region by plugging in this uh, area of this uh, circle, which is uh, 157 pi minus uh, the yellow rectangle area, which is 264. So therefore, the purple shaded area is going to be simply 157 pi minus uh, 264. And if we simplify this thing, this is going to be approximate equal to 229.23 square units. So thus the area of this uh, purple shaded region turns out to be 229.23 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.